Hey ECA members, happy Cinco de Mayo. So, so what do I do on Cinco de Mayo? I sit here and play with diaphragm reads. So, um, yesterday we got in uh, several reads from Wapiti River Outdoors. Uh, I did one review last night real quick on the Huntress. Uh, so I wanted to come back tonight and do the re reviews on the other four. Um, first impression of these reads. So basically I got in four domed reads and one conventional read from Travis and the group there at Wapiti River Outdoors. First initial impression, I'm pretty impressed with all the reads. So they go from a uh, couple of light latex, light stretches, kind of beginner reads into uh, some more advanced collar reads. And so, so we'll just do some demonstrations here, let you guys kind of hear them a little bit. So first one we're gonna talk about tonight is the Pink Lady. Um, guys, don't, don't shy away from the, the pink latex there, in fact, or the pink tape. In fact, it'll probably help you find it if you drop it on the ground out there. So uh, again, it's a domed reed, single light latex. <coughs> um, thing I found about this one is light tongue pressure, light air pressure, pretty easy to control, get some good nasally end on the end of the cow calls. So the one thing I did find out about Travis's or the Wapiti River Outdoors domed reeds is you want to move these as far back as you can possibly put them in the roof of your mouth without gagging. I know most of the time with raised angle pallet plates or domed calls, they're generally designed to go more far forward. Uh, but with these, I kind of got the best results with putting them as far back as possible. So, so I'm going to turn down the microphone a little bit here so that way I don't blow you out. Okay, so that's the pink lady. Good, I, I would say this is a, a good beginners to slightly advanced callers read. Um, you know, the Huntress did a review on that one last night. You guys can actually find the video down in the timeline there. Okay, next up is the Black Widow. Um, you know, I actually brought some of these in last year, right before hunting season, and uh, gave them to my hunting partner and he was he was actually able to use these really well and it kind of raised my curiosity so um the black widow is again domed call single read again you want to position it in the same place of, of moving it farther back in the palette so i'll turn down the microphone Okay, the thing I found on the Black Widow does take a little bit more tongue pressure, a little more air pressure to operate it. Um, so I would say that kind of falls it into the advanced, someone that's blown on reeds for a little bit, they're comfortable with it and they know how to really use their diaphragm to um, increase that air pressure. So next up is the Reaper. This is the last of the dome reeds, uh, red dome red latex again a single latex so all four of these domed reeds have been single latex reeds um, this one on buglin I, I couldn't get as aggressive on it so i'm going to play with it some more see what happens when it kind of breaks in a little bit see if i can kind of get a, a, a aggressive on it so for right now kind of got to be a little ginger on it so but here is the reaper
I would actually say um, the Reaper would be a great call for when that bull's in close and you want to tone your calls down. Um, that one gives you the ability to do that. Um, it's kind of like I said, right now, if you get aggressive on it, it kind of stalls out a little bit. But if you stay nice and relaxed, um, not as much air pressure on it, you can get it to uh, hit the notes that you want. Okay, finally is the sure thing. This is the only conventional um, diaphragm that Travis sent me. It's a one and three quarter. Now, the one thing that I found interesting on this is this one operates better for me when it's upside down so I don't know if the tapes wrong on it or not but usually you put the logo up but what I found on this one is that tab is right underneath the logo and usually on conventional reads I run them with the tab down and that's that's what I found on this one so uh, if you get the sure thing make sure you put that tab down when you go to operate it It's a little tight on the cow calling right now, but again, these, these are all brand new reads, just straight out of the package. I haven't done anything with them except kind of just called on each of them for, you know, maybe five minutes each uh, before recording this. So all in all, my overall impression of all the reads from Wapiti River is they're, they're great reads. It's another option, you know, for you guys to go out there and I recommend trying different reads from different manufacturers to really find that one read that fits you the best uh, and works the best. Um, just in case you guys were wondering, the tube I was blowing on, this is the um, rump shaker from Wapiti River Outdoors. We did actually get one of these in in the bulk of calls that Travis sent down for uh, the giveaway that we will be announcing um, Sunday during our live event. And again, just a reminder, that event is the discussion on diaphragms. We're going to talk about raised angle pallet plates, domed reeds, uh, conventional reeds, so narrow frames, medium frames, wide frames, and, and just kind of talk about how to sort through all the different choices out there to help you narrow your search down a little bit to find that best read for you. So anyways, Happy Cinco de Mayo. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks again for all your support. We really appreciate it. Have a great night.